Last time on The Plot Thickens. I'm not feeling all that great. You've been uh, sneaking cigars on your breaks again? Yeah, I've been uh, <laughs> snacking on cigars again. Yeah. I... You're not supposed to just eat them, Frank. Guys, the only reason I even went to the doctor is because I had to, uh, I, I lost a bet. Yeah. I did not take you for the betting kind. I you were at bet. that club down on 4th Street, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, on Thursday night, yeah. about 1.42 a.m. About that. That was me. The game was some horseshoes. Well, it was blinded horseshoes. It was either I win yeah. a really nice Porsche or I have to go and get all my bits checked done. To it make sure you still have turns, bits. I, I have bits. Okay. I got so I've got the appropriate amount of bits <laughs> in the right places and now I've got the physician notes that that say something. This bit certification. Wow. Where, where's your ladder? Is it Frank in the case of the missing ladder? It is a 12 foot extension ladder, mm. aluminum type. That's why I'm a Buddhist. I did not know this about you. Yeah. What? The world isn't the thing. There's no, like, Buddhism is the thing and the world isn't the thing. Is that why you, every day you come into work, you take that five minutes in the bathroom and just cry in front of the mirror? Oh, my God. So much crying. All right. We're going to move it on to our capstone of the evening. It is. <laughs> the blood thickens. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I need to stop pulling all these all-nighters. This, I'm, I'm going to earn this employee of the month thing for real. I'm going to do it. I've only stolen a little bit of Russian evidence this week, but I'm just... Interesting. I, say, I mean, uh, Tony's got... He's working real hard. Tony No Arms? Yeah. What is, I, like, I, I think he's still a couple cases ahead of you. No, I've been busting my ass. I've been working 20-hour days with only one-hour lunch breaks. It's like I'm following three people at once. This is really difficult, you guys. I mean, this is what it means to put in the work, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah. This sucks. Mm -hmm. Is what you suckers been doing the whole time? Well, not as much as we thought you were doing. Yeah. Like, I just, I just try to remain strong and steady. Don't go too low. Don't go too high. Otherwise, people notice. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got a yeah. thing about being noticed. Yeah, I don't like being noticed. It's it's it puts me at a disadvantage. When you're not going places. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not doing I, things. But you don't want to be employee of the month. No. Is no, it, like maybe once in a while, I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to have that other award up on my wall or in the break room that I've claimed as my award wall. But, uh, you know, then I start thinking about it. I'm like, I got enough awards. I don't need one that puts my picture up somewhere. Wait, we've only heard of the two awards. Do that's you, all we've heard about. We've have, heard you, of, yeah. have you not been in there? When's the last time you were in the break room? Oh, I don't man. know. I kind of lost track of the days. When it gets polished up in there, it's, oh, it's a bright. blinding. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I made little shelves for my mini trophies. I got a mini trophy for making, making braids on kids. And then applying those braids to bread. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that's surprisingly wholesome, and then you caught me off guard. So you apply it directly to the bread. No, like you you teach you the types of braids that uh -huh. uh, you put on little girls' heads. Right. Like you use that same type of braid on bread. To make a bread a braided loaf. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, thought yeah, braided loaves. I was fairly certain you braided children's hair and then applied that created braid to a piece of bread. Hair and bread? Hair and mm. bread. The hair and bread award. That's what I thought it was. I mean, that probably exists. It's got to be somewhere. I'll look it up. Let's see if I can get into a competition. Oh, hey. Debra. <laughs> hey. Uh, She's the most competitive. Any any luck down at the club? You still gambling? No, I lost I, again. I didn't see a Porsche. I did not win. I did not win the Porsche. I lost again. This time I have to go to a free yoga session. Oh, they changed it on you. Yeah, they change it every week. Oh, oh no. Every week. Every it's week either it's a, a Porsche, Porsche or some, something. <laughs> something that deals with health. I'm starting to question the fact that this is run by the Physicians Institute. Like, I think they got. Yeah, I think yeah. they got an ulterior Big physicians numbers. in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dr. Steve may know something about that. Maybe I can Ooh. get you the, the hookup. That's the only time I'll go to your Dr. Steve. Well, my my I caboose mean, is fine. As discussed, yeah, but... Uh, I'll, 
Send me his number. I'll look into it. Maybe there's a free headhunter case going on with it. Who knows? Um, I'll give you the number. Do it with it what you will. That's all, all right. I'll say. Okay. Well, Dr. Steve has been on the run a few times being a rogue ass doctor. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, he's much in demand, sometimes, uh, you know, legally. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you seen those black market butt supplements? I have. He uh, he uh, he ran it by me when he was developing them, and I said, looks good, Dr. Steve. And I wasn't really paying attention because I was bent over. Oh, boy. That's so many things that you know unpack there, but... Uh, that's what he said. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> uh, a tight five. The tight, the tight five strikes again. <laughs> Classic Frank. Oh, how's how is it going with your lady? Things are things are good. They're they're a little on the rocks. We started oh, a, no. a friendly competition of of who can steal the most things uh-huh. from from visiting foreign dignitaries. Mm-hmm. And we got a little carried away. Um, I started to get ahead. And she started to steal from me, and so I started to steal from her, and she got arrested by the Secret Service because somebody planted something in her suitcase. Oh, my I bet shit. it wasn't geraniums. No, I mean, it was in... <laughs> That's that high five again. You got me. You get twice in a row. That was half of it. Come back later for more. It's 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> Frank, man. Frank puns. Frank puns. Frank puns. <laughs> I missed the Frank puns. But now, so I'm kind of um, kind of back on the market, as it were, on the singles market. Ma- Ma- oh no! Oh, Martin, yeah. did you did, you you got her kicked out, didn't you? You planted that, didn't you? No. You always do this. You always do this when you get really close to someone you I, like. Yeah, I can't help it. Somebody gives up on me, and they got the same. Sc- I'm used to being the guy with the skills. You date a woman, and you steal something for her, priceless, and she's like. Oh, Martin, you're the best and amazing. And I'm like, I know. And then by suddenly she can steal things. She can steal things too. And I'm like, I stole this. I stole the crown jewels. And she's like, mm. There's a fragility to your ego mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that really puts you at a disadvantage in relationships. This is This true. is my assertion. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. yeah. What, do I, what do I do? How do I overcome that? Here's what I say. And I am not, for the record, a licensed therapist. I've only ever done this casually when it seems like an easy thing to say. (laughs) I say you break her out of custody Mm -hmm. and you make up to it for it with her. You still have her heart. Uh Uh-huh. Now get the rest of her. That was really good. That was, okay, yeah. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was beautiful. Are you yeah. sure you're not a licensed therapist? Would I hide that from you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. I got an AA. <laughs> how how long did you go to school to get all these AAs? I went to junior college for 15 years. And then I transferred to university. Wow. How long how long were you at university? A semester and a half. <laughs> Frank's pool is shallow but wide. Right. Shallow but wide. Yeah, I like that. There you go. Could be your your license, your therapy license motto. Shallow but wide. <laughs> shallow but wide. I like the sound. I'm gonna write a song called "Shallow but Wide." There you go. That sounds like a good time, huh? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a good one. And we yeah. can we can uh, we can front it as the in trio investigators. That would be great. You get your guitar. Yes. Well, I put a sword on it now. It's a sword guitar. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, why Why do you need to put a sword on that? Because the metal vibrates. It's so cool. When you hit the... It's like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's like you got a singing sword now. Yeah. It's like wow. a built-in theremin. That's magical. Ooh. It is actually is magical. It talks. What? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Just wait. Does it magical? It Oh, it only talks to me? Or is it magical? It can talk to everybody. I mean, I haven't, I haven't introduced it to anybody yet, so it might just be me. Okay. Maybe okay. it's shy. All right. What kinds of things does it say? Does it make sense? Mostly scat lyrics. <gasps> wow. Do you oh, think it could impressive. spit verse? I, that, is, that is a definite possibility. Wow. <laughs> Verses could be spit from the singing sword on my guitar. That, 
I mean, I'm going to say it. Are you going to say it? I'm going to say it. Deborah, say it. I think that that would be a great addition to the band. I right? cannot you know? deny. Like, I think I would I would be okay with having someone else that uh, could sing with me. Yeah, because yeah. I can't, except for in between my sweet solos. Yeah. That's true. I, but it wouldn't show you up, Deborah. Like, you'd still be lead vocalist. Oh, like, it's still very important okay. that All you right. were, you're the face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you'd be the main singing character, and that thing would just be a foil to you. I'll be like my backup. Yeah. Where they have to work harder and make sure that the notes they hit are more accurate than the notes I hit. Yes. Because I'm, I'm the headliner. I don't have to follow script. No, no. you set the tone. Yeah, exactly. Musically exactly. and socially. Mm-hmm. That's me. I set all of it. How are those voice lessons going? They're going real well. I have almost graduated from... Mary had a little lamb. That's good. That's a, that's a tough Real one. Proud. It is. It that is. is rough. Yeah. It's tricky. Sometimes yeah. you got three of the same note. Sometimes you got three different notes. You know, it's that key change or not a key change. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That key the where key. they go from one key on the piano and then they go to a different key on the piano. Yeah. Oh, it's, it always messes me up. So this, uh, this, this voice teacher finally is the right one. Because, uh, you know, the first few of them said you couldn't sing. Oh, one of them said that they were pretty sure that the only reason that I I can, like, speak is, 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 because, is, is because I can't do anything else. That was rough. It was, it was, so <laughs> I had to kill no them. Sense. Yeah, four clips. To, to be, be sure. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's good that people aren't saying you can't sing anymore because, you know... They're a little terrified too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I think I think would spread after after you kill one one teacher. They're 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 close knit group. Yeah, if you are healthy in music, you've got to keep it up. You want to oh. keep the fear. Oh, there's the switch. There's the switch. There's switch. There's that's 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 switch. I was kind of thinking I was talking about music. I was gonna see if I could just put a little music in my tone. You know what I'm saying? No, but music is important. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what kind of music I like? What's that? I, I think I like uh, the music of Ireland. <laughs> oh yeah, they got some really good. They got some really good uh, music and jigs there. Yes, got reels and jigs and Gaelic is beautiful. Have, it is. It's, it's beautiful. Like An ancient Gabra, language. Pog Mahoin. It's all fantastic. Hmm. And it. You know where else is nice? <laughs> where else is nice, Frank? Scotland. Scotland. <laughs> I'm not sure where we are currently, but they're both nice. Remember last time with the blending in to two different places? Yeah. Uh, remind me. <laughs> you blend into two different places with oh, a distinct accent. Now with I an remember. indistinct accent. <laughs> I do recall now. It is very important you that the accent You are somewhere is- in Western Europe. <laughs> Right. And now I'm somewhere in the UK. <laughs> you done any cases out there? Uh, a few. A few. Mostly it's just to pass the time. Like, I, I get out there because, you know, still single. Thought maybe maybe a nice little Irish lass. Help me settle down. Started following sheep thieves because there's sheep in Ireland. So Yeah, that checks out. There's, yeah. there's mm-hmm. you know. Especially with that whole Brexit thing going on. The whole the border between Ireland and Northern Ireland. Yeah, they're gonna. I heard they're gonna saw that off. They're just gonna. Yeah, I oh yeah. saw. I heard it was gonna just be dynamite. Gonna stick Star- dynamite well, I, right in the ground. Strategically placed dynamite. I could see working. Maybe they're. I think they're pre-setting. I saw a lot of big saws, but also big holes. Maybe so they. Oh, maybe they're, they're gonna like make one of those jigsaws. Right, so they make the it's whole Ireland, yeah. Ireland jig. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna move Earth around so that they can do a nice clean cut. Right, that kind of and then if they ever have to come back, if there's a Brentrance, uh-huh. they're just gonna be like, ah, oh, it fits. A gorilla glue. Yeah, it's the best stuff. It is. It really is. Yeah, that's how they got India to stick. Because India used to be separate from Asia. <laughs> But the continental drift made it crash, and you got the Himalayas. <laughs> that's just the that's just the gorilla glue uh, boiling over. Yeah, too much water on it. They use too much. 
and the glue came up. I didn't know you were so worldly, Frank. <laughs> I've traveled, uh, you uh, know? Yeah. Killed a lot of people in a lot of places. I've been there, done that. Mm. Is that where you, nah. So you came up with four clips to be sure? Is four overseas? clips to be sure is a survival technique. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Deborah, what have you been up to, huh? Oh, me? Well, I've been taking them them singing lessons. Oh, of course. I haven't had too many. I haven't had too many assignments outside of uh, oh. outside of the district lately. Uh, it's mostly, uh, you know, it's those those bread and butter assignments, <sighs> the oh. ones where you you're following this person, but you're really following that person, and you're taking photos of both people, and then you photoshopping the photos together. And then wait you, a second. Hmm? Hold on. Okay, okay. Hold on. Really? Really, Frank? I, uh... Really? As a private investigator, I must dig deeper into this before making judgments. Unlike a certain person I know. Is it Deborah? Excuse... I I just... I just don't review paperwork. (laughs) There's a difference. What? What? And you you Photoshop people together who are innocent, and now they're guilty because of your Photoshop work. I mean, I think what Martin is trying to infer is that you are cheating. Yes, a cheating. Ch- but I'm not going Charlis. for employee of the month. Why not? Because I go through I the trouble you. of setting this all up. I don't. You don't you. even want to do it. I don't. I'm not striving for employee of the month. Frank, if I'm employee of the month, I don't want my picture on the wall. Well, then it I might as well be, be Martin. Thank According you. to There's... the bylaws, I'm exempt. There's still Tony. Tony. Yeah, but. And he's doing real good. He's doing real good. Yeah. Maybe we could hire more people, and then there's more competition for Martin. I don't know. We'll look into that. Is it really economically sound? Just because you know I'm the best? Maybe we could hire someone temp someday. Oh, yeah, get a temp. Like a little, little receptionist. I'm sorry, an administrative assistant. There you go. You got to be sensitive. Yeah, you got to be up on the culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you said se- you said receptionist, but really you meant a little executive person. <laughs> yes, still like, diminutive. Still, but uh, you know, an assistling. Oh, oh. Martin. Yeah, I like that. Since when do you start making up words? I don't know. I think it's uh I think it's this new single life. I think it's opening all kinds of doors for me. Wow. I don't know. Maybe I don't break her out. Maybe this is the new Martin. I don't know. No. Maybe. Well, no. Well. Like I mean, I'm just saying, I just don't want you to fall into a pattern. You've I you've knew Martin that. so many times. Oh, yeah. This is this is like Martin 6.0, I know. Maybe this is the new new Martin. Oh. The new new Martin. The new new Martin mm. is running a new. I'm starting a new pattern. <laughs> okay, that's better than the old pattern. It's a pattern of success. Oh, a pattern okay. of success. Okay. Well, if it works, it works. That's that's the, that's the plan. To be determined. Yes. Yeah. We'll make up more words as we go. Yeah. Well, I'm here for a new new Martin. New new, new Martin. Martin. New Martin. Yeah, new new Martin. Look, I'm not N-N-M. gonna. N-N-M. Uh, yeah, N-N-M. so I'll sign my cards. And then them. And then them. And them. I, you know, I I do recommend it because that would be a very efficient oh. signature. See, there you go. And then them. I don't know if it's eye blink efficient, but I like the direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby yeah. steps. Baby yeah. steps. Bit by bit. Yeah. yeah. That's good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go meditate. Oh. I'm gonna go. Buddha meditate. You still know. Buddhist? Yeah, definitely. Hundred okay. percent. Got to check all day long. Still crying every morning in the bathroom. In the bath. I hear it. I hear it. Mm-hmm. I just. I hope you appreciate the Enya that I've been putting on for I, you. It really. I think it helps. That's why I've been in there for ten minutes instead of five because mm-hmm. the Enya brings it out of me. The Orinoco flow. I don't know the words. Do you know? I thought she had played Enya again. Sail I, I just. Away! Sail away! To the moon. Oh, no, that's a, diff- that's a oh. different song, Frank. Sorry. That was a crossover. I was excited. It's one of these mashups all the mash-ups, kids talk that's about. It. <laughs> Frank, the mashup, the brick, the brick mash. The brick your mash. stage name. Yeah, another alter ego. 
How many, how many alter egos do you got on stage now? Well, right now, just two. Okay. I ain't, you know, I ain't no Martin Snitch. Mm. It's true, he's not. Ah! Aww. So I've got uh, every now and then. I've got my my stand up personality, which is vibrant <laughs> and full of life. Vivacious, mm-hmm. you might mm-hmm. say. Some might say. <laughs> All right. If they uh, have that word available <laughs> to them in their vocabulary, they may say vivacious, mm. like me. Yeah, you did it. I did. And then the other one is when I have my confessions. I get all sad. And I say things like, uh, Oh, no. I, uh, why did I do it? Why did I kill Sinatra just because they said I could? Huh? Why did I do this thing? Wait, is that part of your, your five? Uh, wait, you do that on stage? Yeah, when it's... I'm not doing my comedy, wait, I comedy? do the storytelling it's like stand up, but you don't have to be funny. Oh. Uh. Mm-hmm. Makes it easier. I find it to be more challenging. Really? Because I have to bear my soul. The lamentations of Frank, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. The Frankmentations. Frankmentations <laughs> laid bare for all to see. Why? <laughs> Why did I purposefully exclude myself from employee of the month? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, Frank. Yeah. I'm just spitballing here. Sure. But uh, you made them laws. You made the rules. I know. Why don't you just redo the rules? When's the last time you updated the employee handbook? It's supposed to be done every year. Well, I guess I have let it slip. Uh-huh. You could rewrite those rules. Are you putting ideas in his head? Yeah, I am. Just want to make competition. I. The best part, though, is I don't want no part in your competition. That's the worst part. That's the best from part. This side, the, oh, from this side. Oh, from that side? Yours is the best part. This is the perfect world. Yeah. That's why it's, that's why the, it's perfect the worst world. part from over here. Uh, okay. Got it. I'd never try to tear down your perfect world, Deborah. You know what? Mm. Anything that happens in my world is perfect. Can't Wait, turn. So I can... I can do anything? Yeah. And you'd be perfect. Like I could just knock over your plant like this. It's part of your perfect world. Yeah. Wow. Look at it. It was dying anyway. Oh, no. Why did I listen to my coworkers when they told me for an entire week only eat one green thing? My stomach hurts so bad. We didn't mean only eat one green thing. You said oh, eat yeah. one green thing. I recorded it. No, that's I'm- what I meant. He, he needs a cleanse. I mean, well, I mean, yes, but you need to eat more than one green thing a day. Or a day? A week. <laughs> I've done it one in a week. Have you eaten nothing else, Frank? I ate an entire head of lettuce. <laughs> That's more than one green thing. It's one head. I could have eaten one shipment, but that was a bit much. <laughs> a truckload. <of> <laughs> Dr. Steve said that would not be a good idea. <laughs> Dr. Steve knows roughage. Yes. Oh, no. oh, Frank, I think we need to get you a burger or something. Burgers have lettuce. It could be his green there thing we for go. this you week. you got one green thing in it. There you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, I sometimes I feel like I need a, a responsible adult or a guiding light or something. You know, living alone is hard. Like, oh. a, like a mentor? Or like a nun? Like, like, none. like literally none. any other person to mm-hmm. say this is a stupid thing you are doing. Stop it. Oh well, what about what about Brick Junior? Brick Junior is not much into talking. <laughs> have you been petting him? I have been. Okay. I, I I wore the I wore the the prints off of my fingers by rubbing him so much. I mean that's that's kind of a win win though. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. now like you've got no identity. It's like Brick Jr. took your identity. Okay. Wow. I'm going to say it again. I did not co-found this investigation company <laughs> to instead fall into a life of crime. <laughs> We're not all into that. I don't I'm I don't not understand. Saying, I'm just saying. 
I'm just, I'm not yeah. saying, but I'm just I've saying. I've put up with you two for a long time. Because we bring in the results. Oh, I am not going to steal a brand new pyramid. Oh, I am not going to plant Russian evidence. No, I definitely said I was. Yeah, yeah. Honesty about your misdeeds <laughs> does not make it all better. But it's a little better. Te- I'm- technically... And I mean, if anything, what it's doing is it is it's uh, creating more business for us because people are now going, hey, try and figure out who planted this Russian re- evidence or, hey, who made an entire pyramid disappear. And then they hire us to try and figure it out. I mean, it's a double win. I just, from a moral perspective, <laughs> it's rough. Like your piece of green? Like my piece of green. <laughs> Precisely. All right. All right, Frank. I'll try and be more straight and narrow, I guess. Look, I, I'm a little bit sensitive about theft because I'm still waiting to get my ladder back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The ladder that we don't know. We, we know nothing about, about except for what it, it was that you told us. Yeah. Specifically. If I don't find it soon, though, you know, my back is getting sore from putting all the leaves up on the roof. You're putting the leaves on the roof? Yeah, so they fall into the gutter so that I can bring someone over to clean the gutters. Oh, yeah. So I can check their ladders out. How many oh, people have you yeah. gone through? Uh, 20. Not your ladder? 21. Yeah, not my ladder so far. Some of them have been wood, like a like a six-foot step ladder. Oh, wow. Oh, it's quaint. Uh, but that, uh, you know, was not the one. Yeah. Mine is, is aluminum special. Type. Yeah. None of them had better ladders than yours? Well, a couple of them had uh, some neat ladders that were like extension, but like they fold out instead of sliding oh, is that with the ratchet. So, I mean, and those are kind of cool. You can walk across them because they kind of make an M shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are neat. Uh, but I don't know. There's nothing quite like my, say it with me, 12-foot extension, extension ladder. ladder. Aluminum, Aluminum type. type. <laughs> That's right. Ah, uh, oh, camaraderie. Yep. yep. Like, well, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe in the next day or so, you're gonna, heaven forbid, somebody's taken your ladder and they're gonna put it up for ransom. That would and be in the horrible. And the next couple of days, you suddenly oh get my pictures. God, that would be a criminal act, but definitely not my first ransom case. Oh, so you'd be psychologically equ- equipped to deal with it. Would you ransom? hire us? Would you hire us oh. to track down who? may or may not be ransoming your oh. letter if it comes to that. You think I'm too close? You might be too yeah. close. Yeah, too close to be impartial. You need impartial. to hire one of us instead. All or right. you need to hire both of us both. in competition so whoever mm. gets it ah. first. Let the market forces work. Yeah. 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 Competition. That's what'll happen. Always gets the best result. Yep. 100% of the times, literally All impossible time. not to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, I will conceive of that. And it'll be my own idea, therefore a good one. Yes. Good. That's how Frank works. It was all your idea. Every bit of it. Every every bit. Yeah. Uh, Well. I think we reached a sort of a natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that feels pretty organic to me. Yeah. You're going to go practice your blind horseshoe tossing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to win that Porsche. I hope I win it this week because I do not want have to have to deal with a fruit cleanse. Oh, Mm-mm. Those can be uncomfortable. Those cold press drinks and that's all you drink? Ugh. Oof. Let me tell you, I re- relate strongly to that. <laughs> I'm going to go eat a burger. All right. Okay. Well, you guys have fun. I'll see you next week. Okay. Well, you break that lady Bye. out. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to wrestle with that internally for a while. New New Martin, you do you. Oh, that's right, New New Martin. I'm probably not breaking it out. Yeah, but if you could clean up my plant that you you, you tossed on the ground, no, that's fair. That that'd be nice. I respect that. All right, thanks. Yeah. Huzzah! Vivat.